good afternoon. Today we shall be reviewing the, the play Then. Best safety lies in fear. Yelf to itself rebels, though I'm none of us near. I shall the effect of this good lesson keep as watchman to my heart. But good, my brother, do not as some ungracious pastors do. Show me the steep and thorny way to heaven. Whiles like a puffed and reckless libertine, himself the primrose path of Dahlia's treads, and wrecks not his own road. Farewell, Ophelia, and remember well what I have said to you. Tis in my memory locked, and you yourself shall keep the key of it. Do this. Farewell. If it be as so, as so tis put on me, and that in way of caution I must tell you, you do not understand yourself so clearly as it behoves my daughter and your honor. What is between you? Give me the truth. He hath, my lord, of late made many tenders of his affections to me. Affection? Pooh! You speak like a green girl, unsifted in such prolific circumstances. Do you believe his tenders, as you call them? I do not know, my lord, what I should think. Mary, I'll teach you. Think yourself a baby, and then you have ten these tenders for true pay, which are not sterling. Tender yourself more dearly, or, not to crack the wind of the poor phrase, running in thus, you'll tender me a fool. He hath, my lord, importuned me with love and honorable fashion. Aye, fashion you may call it, go to, go to. And hath given countenance to his speech, my lord, with almost all the holy vows of heaven. Do not believe his vows, for they are brokers, not of that dye which their investments show, but mere employers of unholy suits, breathing like sanctified and pious vows. The better to beguile, this is for all, I would not, in plain terms from this, Time forth, have you so slander any moment leisure as to give words or talk with the Lord Hamlet? Look to it, I charge with you, come your ways. I shall obey, my lord. In act two, Ophelia was very confused. Hamlet had come into the room, stared at her, and then left without turning his head to see the door. She is very terrified at this behavior and tells her father, Polonius. Polonius asks if she had been talking to Hamlet as he had forbidden her to do, but she has not. She has been loyal to her father and her brother. <laughs> How now, Ophelia? What's the matter? <sighs> oh, my lord, my lord, I have been so affrighted. With what? I, in the name of God? My lord, as I was sewing in my closet, Lord Hamlet with his doublet all embraced, no hat upon his head, his stockings fouled, unguarded and down gagged to his ankle, pale as a shirt, his knees knocking each other, and with a look so piteous and purple, as if he had been loosed out of hell, to speak of horrors, he comes before me. Mad for thy love? My lord, I do not know, but truly I do fear it. What said he? <clears throat> he took me by the wrist and held me hard, then goes he to the length of all his arm, and with his other hand thus over his brow, he falls to such perusal of my face as it would draw it. Long stayed he so, at last a little shaking in my arm, and thrice his head thus waving up and down. He raised a sigh so piteous and profound as it did seem to shatter all his bulk and, and end his being. That done, he lets me go, and with his head over his shoulder turned, he seemed to find his way without his eyes. For out the doors he went without their helps, and to the last bended their lights on me. Come with me, I will seek the king. This is the very ecstasy of love, whose violent pro property foredoes itself and leads the will desperate undertakings and soft as any passion under heaven that does aff afflict our natures. I am sorry. Would have you given him any hard words of late? No, my good lord. But as he did command, I did repel his letters and denied his access to me. That hath made him mad. I am sorry that the better heated judgment I had not quoted him. I feared that he did but trifle, and meant but wreck thee. But beshrew my jealousy. By heaven, it is our proper to age, to cast beyond ourselves in our opinion, as it is common for the younger sort. 
To lack discretion, come, go we to the king. This must be known, which, being kept close, might move. More grief to hide than hate out of love. In Act 3, Ophelia is acting very hurt. She has told Hamlet that she must return his love letters to her. And Hamlet tells her that he does not, that he did not, and that he will never love her. And she had been deceived. Soft you now, the fair Ophelia. Nymph and thy orisons, be all my sins remembered. Good, my lord, how does your honor for this many a day? I humbly thank you, well, well, well. My lord, I have remembrances of yours that I have longed long to re-deliver. I pray you now, receive them. No, not I. I never gave you aught. My honored lord, you know right what you, that you did, and with them words of so sweet breath composed as made these things more rich. Their perfume lost, take these again, for to the noble mind rich gifts wax poor when givers prove unkind. There, my lord. But I did love you once. Yes, my lord. You made me believe so. You should not have believed me, for virtue cannot inoculate our old stock, but we shall have relish of it. I loved you not. I was the most deceived. Get thee to a nunnery. Why wouldst thou be a breeder of sinners? In the next scene of the third act, Hamlet seems to act more comfortable with Ophelia than he had displayed in the last scene. Ophelia is very confused in this part, along with embarrassed, and guarded, and distant. Lady, shall I lay my head on your lap? Nay, my lord. No, I mean lay my head upon your lap. Aye, my lord. Do you think I mean country matters? I think nothing, my lord. That's a fair thought to lie between a maid's legs. What is, my lord? Nothing. You were merry, my lord. Who, I? I, my lord. Is this the prologue of Percy and the Ring? <laughs> Tis brief, my lord. As a woman's love. In Act 4, Ophelia has gone insane. She is distraught at the, her father's death at the hand of Hamlet. And then, Laertes comes and sees the state of his sister. Ophelia sings a lot in this section of the play. And then, eventually, she drowns herself. And she's not in the fifth act. The end. I hope all will be well. We must be patient, but I cannot choose to weep. To think they should lay him in the cold ground, my brother shall know of it. And so I thank you for your good counsel. Come, my coach, good night, ladies, good night. Sweet ladies, good night. There's rosemary, that's for remembrance. Pray, love, remember. And there is pansies. That's for thoughts. There's fennel for you and columbines. There's roof for you. And here's some for me. We may call it herb grace of Sundays. Oh, you must wear your rue with difference. There's a daisy. I would give I would give you some violets, but they withered as my father died. They say he made a good end. For body sweets, Robin is all my joy. <laughs>